So it's another good old Sunny Dane Cold for He's going around, sees someone, aims down, gets a triple. He's so happy, he the screen. And what the shit, he just cut the screen open. That's just amazing. Unbelievable. Hey guys, it's Obsy Kid here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to do that epic knife transition effect. So, I'm sorry if I sound a bit tired, I just woke up really early today, went up to London, came back. So, I'm pretty tired, but I w I've been wanting to make this tutorial for quite a bit, so... Let's get into it. I'll be trying to go as fast as I can because I don't want this to drag on because it's pretty simple, really. So, make uh, get your clip and put it into uh, put it into its own composition. Yeah, and sorry if I stutter as well or something or if my like thinking lags because I'm still a bit tired. So, get your clip and find the place where you want to knife cut transition thing. So. Just want to find the place where he knives, so he goes along, sees someone, gets a triple, he knives, and then he knives again. So, gonna do on the second knife, so yeah. Um, what you want to do is find the frame where the knife is first in the screen. So, for me, it's here, so like you can see the hand with the knife in it there. Just find the first frame where it is, because if I go frame before, it's not there, so go forward frame, there it is. So, you find where that is and I'll just quickly rename this clip because uh, I just like having things organized so uh, you have your clip and then you click on your clip and then hit control shift D and it should split the layer and you can just rename this clip to to knife if I can type start like that just to keep things more organized so as you can see the knife starts on this second one so it's just like the normal thing and then the knife starts here and basically what you want to do is find the rough direction the knife travels in so it starts in the bottom left hand corner and if you go forward a bit, well if I go forward a bit really should be the same for you uh, uh, shouldn't really be going backwards otherwise your clip's a bit mocked up anyway you can see it ends in the top, uh, not top, middle rightish hand side so that's the rough direction so go back to the beginning where the knife starts and grab the pen tool and click on your knife start thing and what we're going to be doing is making a rough direction like a, a mask path in the rough direction of the knife in the same direction of the knife and when I say like rough I actually mean rough because if you spend hours making it like exactly how the knife travels it's not going to look any smoother or the transition is going to look any quick like neater or anything because it just doesn't make a difference because it's such a fast transition no one with normal eyes can see it and most people have normal eyes so <laughs> anyway so just so it starts about there and you can maybe just go forward a frame so you can get it a bit more accurate and go forward a frame maybe just go forward a bit and ends about there and that's how long it should take for everyone because that's all you really have to do and you will see this happen so that's not a problem just hit on your knife start over here and hit control D you should duplicate the clip so you get knife start 2 and click on knife start 2 hit M and change this to 2 to subtract and you get that like that so you can just go to your selection tool or hit V if you're a keyboard shortcut guru yeah so as you can see if you like zoom in a bit you can see uh, that there's this little black line going along here so that's the path, mask path we made. So that's all looking good so far. So what you want to do is on knife start two, hit P and drag it up a bit, like that. Not too much, only so you just see a black gap in the middle, just a bit. And then click on knife start two and hit R and rotate it slightly like that. So the left hand side of the cut, the black cut thing, is bigger and the right hand side is slightly thinner so it looks kind of cool like that. But now you can see that you have these black edges here and there's a tiny one there and that just looks shite so the way to fix that is if you click on knife start 2 and hold down shift and click on knife start 1 and hit S should bring up scale on both of them and don't click anywhere just go straight to the scale and just turn them up just until the black bars go away because you don't want to end up being a douchebag and just doing it that much so just a tiny bit 
about that much until the black bars go away and all is good so that's all nice and looking like a decent cut but as you can see over here is just a per it's like the cuts just perfectly smooth and just to add some more realisticism if that that's not a word so just to make it a bit more realistic so just type go to effects and presets on the side and just type in rough and it should come up with rough and edges and drag it onto knife start 2 and turn the border to maybe about 11 to 15 somewhere about there so I'll just 13 and if you just like click this side here you can see it's a bit wiggle like not wiggly it's a bit more rough so makes it a bit more realistic and to do the same to the bottom one no point doing it again uh, just click on rough and edges here hit control C click on knife start to click in the effects controls area and hit control V and it's all pasted there and it's done exactly the same to the bottom one and it looks pretty decent more like a realistic cut like me and my amazing made up words okay and now so right now it's like over here and then he knives and so like what the it just comes up you need, so now what we need to do is just animate it so it sort of comes in gradually with the same speed of the knives and knife knife okay so, and to do that go to where go to knife like the beginning of the knife start clips so there that's the beginning and hit uh hit click on knife dot two and hold shift and click on knife dot and hit m and then m uh, uh, okay let's start again click on knife dot two hold shift click on knife dot and then double tap m like with a decent speed and you should come up with all the mask properties and what we want to do is keyframe the mask expansion mask expansion mask expansion on knife start 2 and knife start 1 and just close it up kinda so if you just increase it on knife start like that and decrease it on knife start 2 so so that it just kinda closes up the black type of thing like that so um yeah you don't just want to do it on one side you want to do it with both because otherwise it will look kind of weird so just get them roughly the same so that's pretty decent right there and as you can see that's where the knife hand is and if you just go to the end where the knife is so over there that's the end where the knife ends because if you go to the next frame it's off the screen so just go to there and turn back the mask expansion to zero like that and you will have that cut and just to make it a bit more smoother you can select the keyframes and hit F9 to make them easiest easy ease uh, um, but if you're all like on a Mac or have dodgy F9 keys because you're on a laptop or something you can just select them right click go to keyframe assistant and convert to easy ease so as you can see keyboard short the keyboard shortcut is F9 so now if you go back so it's like nice and it goes whoosh, like that so it's pretty nice I think and that's it um, yeah if you saw if you remember in my preview I put the volume quite low so you might not have heard it but there was a, a paper rip sound effect so to do that you basically just download one and just add it in to where the knife start starts so go to the beginning of the knife start clips click on your paper rip sound and double tap L I'll put this in the description for you guys if you want it uh, yeah I'll just put it in description so and just drag it to where the knife start sound starts so like there and let's quickly just ram preview this and see how it looks like <coughs> oh my god okay what? Okay. Whoa! Sorry about that if I blew up your ears. Um, let's just turn. I'll just mute the audio. Or maybe just turn it down really low. So. Sorry if I blew up your ears. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh my god. That's looking pretty good. I think that looks pretty good but as you can see it just stays with that black line in the middle and it's just like what the shit so 
basically what we do so it ends about there so you can go there and maybe just go about a second or two seconds forward so about there and then what you do is click on knife start 2 and hold shift and go to knife start like knife start 1 and hit P and keyframe the position on both of them and then if you go forward say half a second um, or maybe a bit more it just depends how long you want the transition to be like the because basically I'm gonna make the the top half to fall up like go upwards and the bottom half just to drop down you can make them go left and right it just depends how you want it but I'm gonna make the top one go up yeah you have to click on the one itself and then just drag it upwards like that and just put this one down there like that so if I just turn it down even lower because it was pretty loud so and now let's preview it oh, oh my god that's it pretty neat you could maybe just drag in these whoops not going to do that drag in these two keyframes a bit just to make them drop away a bit quicker but that's it I think it's pretty neat I was just messing around because I'm doing a edit thing um, and I saw that and I was like why not do a knife cut transition so I was experimenting with the mask expansion and I realized that it was pretty simple so I thought I'd make a tutorial on it because I don't really think that anyone else has a tutorial on it so tell me what you think about it uh, a uh, video response if you use it in an edit or something or try it out so thanks for watching guys that's about it don't forget to rate comment subscribe and that lot it helps me out a ton so thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later in another great tutorial